Hi developers, my name is Angela Lee, and I'm a PM on the Einstein Copilot team. Since our announcement of our GA last month, Copilot has really taken off, and I cannot wait to share with you the new features that we have coming this summer. First up, we have Scratch Org support. We know that developers are already really familiar with Scratch Orgs, so we want to make sure that you can build and test your new Copilot features in your Scratch Orgs. Developers can now build and test new configurations without disrupting their users or active copilots. And once you feel that your changes and customizations are perfect, they can easily be deployed with a quick push to production. One of the most powerful things about Einstein Copilot is the ability to customize it for your organization's specific needs. And that's why we wanted to give even more control over to our developers by having our new metadata API. With this new API, you can go and see the metadata behind your custom actions and really understand what's powering them and make changes at that metadata level. And then once you're ready, you can deploy it across all of your environments. Now this next feature might seem really minor, but it is a really big context switch for Copilot. With page context support, we can now have Copilot automatically understand the context of the page that a user is on, and it will be able to ground their response on that page context without having to ask clarifying questions or disambiguation before it provides a response. And for developers, this is really important because this means that you're going to get that page context understanding built into your custom actions. This means that your actions are going to become even more accurate. And finally, I am so excited to announce the beta of our newest feature, standard and custom topic support. We know that copilots are most powerful when they are specifically solving a use case or a job to be done. And now topics can help you do that. With topic support, your users are going to unlock even more productivity because topics will help them solve their specific use cases. All right, that was a lot of talking, and we know a demo is worth a thousand words. So let's go to our demo. So I'm here in VS Code, and this is where we want to bring in our Scratch org. So you would normally go about bringing in your Scratch org the way you normally would, but now here is the new definition file so you can bring in Einstein Copilot features. Just make sure that your addition is set to Einstein and that you're also going to bring in Copilot, and then you're going to be good to go. So now that we have our Scratch orgs ready, to, ready and up and running, let's take a look behind the hood and look at, look at our metadata. So I already ran a function uh, that will bring in the metadata for all of Copilot. And as you can see here, we have metadata that covers our planner service, which is the orchestration framework for Copilot. And then you see all of these different functions. And the ones that are named employee Copilot represent the standard out-of-the-box actions that are built by Salesforce. As I keep scrolling down, I see this additional, a couple additional functions that are named differently. And that those actually represent the custom actions that are related to this particular Copilot. So I have a question about this tracker update capacity, so I want to take a look more closely at that metadata. And so I'm going to run this gen AI function to grab the metadata for that custom action. And as that runs, just in case it was going a little slow and we don't have a ton of time, uh, I already ran this earlier, and here's the metadata that is behind that custom action. All right, it actually, it ran. All right, so as I can see, this is a custom action that was built in our field service app to understand capacity which is super important in the field service use case. I know that it's targeting a flow, and here is the description, which is actually just as test. But we know that descriptions are super important for Copilot to understand uh, which actions to use, so I'm going to update the name of that description. And once I'm done with my changes, I can quickly right-click and then deploy this to our orgs, and that will be available across all of our different, org all of our different environments. All right, let's switch contacts and get an understanding of how page contacts support works. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this query that says summarize this account. And before we have page contact support, what Copilot would do is actually come back to us and say, did you need 
account Acme partners or opportunity related partners or leads. And I would have to, as a user, go back and click and clarify which one I meant. But now with page context support, Copilot is going to be able to reason through and understand I'm on this account page and to pass that record ID and then be able to give me a summary without asking for additional clarification. And voila, I now have this nice summary with links out to this page if I need it and, and reach out to that owner, Angela Lee, in case I have any questions. And what's really powerful for you as a developer, again, is that this page context will automatically be passed to your custom actions. So you won't have to build that in and it's gonna make the experience for your users even better and the results even more accurate. All right, and now to our final topic, Copilot topic support. So here I am in the Copilot builder and with this Copilot, it's really tasked with understanding uh, restaurant reservations. So as you can see here, I already have a few topics that are related to this builder. And as you'll notice, they're all assigned to, they all tackle a specific job that needs to be done. So in this case, we have you know, how to handle escalations, how to deal with existing reservations. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create a new topic that relates to uh, answering frequently asked questions. So I'm going to just go ahead and start with the topic label, which I've general, labeled general FAQ and describe what this topic should solve for, which is, in this case, answering questions about restaurant reservations, you know, how someone could use their dining points, or anything related to our company. And then I want to define the scope. I want to make sure that Copilot only uses our internal knowledge articles to provide information to users. And then finally, I can set rules and guidelines for Copilot so it's always answering the questions in the way I want it. So for this case, I really want to make sure that Copilot is tailoring responses based on specific user queries or their account details if they have provided them, and then to never give troubleshooting uh, steps. I only want it to answer questions. So let's go ahead and take it for a spin. I put in a question about how to activate dining rewards towards a reservation, which is a pretty common question I could expect for a restaurant reservation software. So what Copilot is doing right now is kind of understanding the intent of the question and going and finding what's the right topic to answer this question. And voila, I see that it said, okay, this question is related to a, a pretty frequently asked question. Here are the instructions that I already got. And here's the action that is assigned that can answer this question directly. So in this case, it's answering questions with knowledge. And the LLM went through, executed that, and gave me this really robust response about how I can locate my dining points and activate them and apply them to my uh, next restaurant reservation. So that's how you can use topics to guide your pilot to answer questions and build actions towards any use case. So that was my last topic for the day. 